Good evening, everyone. I am sitting in my nursery trying to get the camera situated, <laughs> which is difficult to do when you can't see behind the camera. And as you can see, I'm showing my face in this video, which this is not my first time showing my face, but usually I don't really show my face in my videos. Unless it's a specific topic I'm discussing and I want to show my face. Um, usually my videos are about my babies. So I usually show my babies. But today I started off this video differently. Because this video is called Hashtag It's Me. So this video is more of like I guess an introduction video. Where you're introducing yourself personally um sharing a little about yourself as far as you being the person behind the videos or it's your channel or whatever and normally we don't show ourselves we usually just show our babies the most of us so anyway that's why you're seeing me at the beginning of the video and i have with me my little zen you can only see like the top of him because i have the camera up to see me um, but this is little Zen, and he is helping mommy with this video. So, starting off the video, I would like to say that um, my channel is my actual name. So, my name is Erica, and I've had my YouTube channel now for about a year and a half, I would say, almost two years in the summer. And do I want to say my age, really? <laughs> I was thinking about that before I started the video. I'm in my 40s. I'll just leave it at that. Early 40s. Um, I am a mother. I have five children. Four girls and one little boy. Um, I have two older children that are in college. And then three littler children that are 11. Let's see, seven, almost eight on the weekend. And then a nine-year-old. So, it's a big gap in between my children. My two oldest children are in their 20s already. They're 22 and 23. So, I had a bit of a gap. And I'm checking the camera again. Um, in between my kids. I'm going to put the camera down now for the baby. Since you've seen me. And I hope I have it right. Because I can't really see. Okay, that's good. Okay, so since you've seen my face, that's enough for me. <laughs> now you can look at this cute little boy. Um, so as I was saying, I am currently a stay-at-home mom, and that was by choice mostly. Um, I like to be home with my children and raising them um, myself. So with the la my last three children, I decided to be at home with them full time. Um, I prefer raising my children myself rather than them being at a babysitter or daycare and school. And you don't really get to see them that much when you're working as not knocking anybody that works. Because I know some, some moms love to work and they have to work and maybe can't stay home with their children. Or they just want to work and that's their choice. Of course, everybody's household is different. But I myself personally prefer to be at home with my children. Um, just being here with them and helping them with their homework when they come home from school. And making sure they're eating right. And just being that mom that's around most of the time raising my children. So that was the big choice I made. With my two older daughters, I started off with them where I was working um, part-time. First, I was working full-time, but then when they were born, I went to part-time. So that worked for me at the time, and my profession is a bookkeeper. And I was a bookkeeper in a daycare center, and I did enjoy that. Um, but... Once my children, the two older ones, reached about age two and three, that is when I decided to stop working and be at home with them as well. Um, I wanted to just be able to be home with them. 
while they were babies fortunately i worked in a daycare center so they were actually able to come to work with me every day and you know their classrooms were right close to the office so i could just pop in and go see them whenever i wanted to you know go take a break and go get them out of their classroom so once they started to get older and would, would be moving up to the bigger classrooms they weren't as close to the office and i noticed i couldn't get to go see them as often as i would like and i don't know i just felt like i wanted to be with them more so that's when i decided to take off from work and raise my children so that's what i've done and decided in my life and i love being a mother i think that's my most important job um, my most important accomplishment in my life, um, it was just since I was young, always I dreamed of when I would have children, when I got married, I, I was just looking forward to being a mother. So I was blessed with five children and I've enjoyed each one of them and just being able to be with them and be home with them most of the time. Um, the only time they're away is when they're at school. Once they come home, I'm with them, you know, for the rest of the evening. <laughs> so then as my children started to get older, as I've stated, if you watch my videos in the past, um, I miss the baby stage with my children. So I started collecting these lifelike dolls and I started out with vinyl reborns. And I really love the silicone dolls, so then eventually I was blessed enough to start collecting silicone babies. And I just enjoy this hobby. Um, I was wondering the other day, like, before I started getting into collecting these dolls um, and meeting so many people here on YouTube, other, you know, reborn and silicone mommies and making so many nice friends here, wonderful people I've met. I was like, what was I doing before? You know, it's like this has just opened a whole new world for me, I guess, this hobby. And I really enjoy it. And I don't know. I don't see myself where I would stop collecting these dolls. I don't see it. Maybe I'll change my, my mind somewhere down the line. But right now, I don't think I would stop collecting them. Um, that's how I feel about it. It's like an important part of my life right now um besides being a mother and a wife i would say my dog collecting is very important and it's definitely i think because it's a stress reliever um when i dress my babies hold them or cuddle them do videos with them a lot of times it'll just take my mind off of other stresses in life in everyday life so i definitely just enjoy you know, spending time with my dolls and, you know, being in my bedroom here, which my nursery is like, um, as I said, half of my bedroom is my nursery over here. So I definitely just enjoy my peaceful, quiet time in my nursery. And I hope you can see because my camera now, I probably have it down too low. But my changing table is over here. And then over here is my crib. And I'm like right now sitting in between them. And I just, like I said, I just enjoy this time. Just sitting over here sometimes, holding my babies, watching TV or whatever. You know, cuddling them or changing their clothes or whatever. And it's just really a stress reliever. reliever so I definitely don't want to stop collecting my dolls. Um... I think I've covered everything. I married five children, stay-at-home mom. My profession was a bookkeeper. And now I am definitely a doll collector. <laughs> I don't think there's anything else um, that I would say I left out, really. And I think that's about it. Just an introduction to me and who I am and I'm the person um, behind the voice on this channel that you're always hearing changing the babies and talking and everything that would be me so anyway that is all for now and this um this
tag video is been out for at least a couple of weeks so yes i am late getting around to doing it but i wanted to do it and i'm just getting around to it and there's another one i would like to do so i'm going to try to do that one also in a separate video so anyway i think i've answered any questions that people might have about me and i think that's it for now so we'll be back again in a little while in another video thanks for watching guys bye bye